Hey guys, I'm Miss Harrington. Welcome to the art room. Come on in. first come in I have what I call the student section. Um, this is where we turn our work in, um, any projects or stuff we lay it out. If I have paperwork it's most likely going to be here. We are in Halloween time right now so you'll see a lot of Halloween decorations. I would keep them up all year round if I could but they are up right now. Um, normally I have a calendar um, and I have the events going on around campus or some important things going around in the art world so that'll be here. I've got folders for each level of art, and this is where I put makeup assignments, so if it's something printed that they missed, that's where it'll be. I've got um, grading rubrics, different types of strategies as far as writing, um, your, the syllabus, classroom procedures, and of course we have our pathways listed, return to dominance, and our pause. So, and a few quotes as well, because we all love quotes. And then you have your um, schedule around the school. Uh, moving on, we have a computer cart where I keep all the computers if a student is not assigned one. So you have extras that you can grab from. Um, next we have the paper station. Um, so this is going to be where I keep watercolor paper, cardstock, sketch paper, uh, whatever the students need for whatever level they are. We've got construction paper and I try to keep it organized by color. Um, we have some examples up here of some work. Um, and of course we have scrap paper because I always keep scrap paper. Even if it's a little piece, we can always use it for something. So we have our scrap paper bin here. Um, we have the miscellaneous supply room and the equipment and furniture supply room. I try to be the only one to go in there. This is where I store all the materials to try to keep it a little bit more organized. All right, this is the beginner section. So this is where I try to keep all the beginner work at. Um, I try to give each student their own drawer so they can put their supplies and whatever they're working on in their drawer. That way they don't have to haul it around and risk damaging it or having so much to keep up with because I know it's a lot. I have here um, some materials. So we've got um, buckets for everything we use daily. Some markers, um, color pencils, things like that. Again, this is for students. And this is the intermediate section for intermediate artists, so that's level two. Um, they all have their own drawer as well or some type of cabinet for them to put their work. I also threw in rulers over here and we have our graphite section so all the different levels of graphite pencil that they can use as well as the pencil sharpener. And this is the proficient and the advanced section. Uh, these levels are level three and four so I don't have as much students coming in um, for these levels so they have less space. Again they have their drawers and cabinets for their supplies as well. And I also have some canvases and stuff stored in here for them to access because they're most like, likely going to be using stuff like that. Um, I've also got some boards for them to draw on and their drying rack. And then we have the paint station. So this is where all the paint is stored, where we do our rinsing out of our brushes, palettes, all that good stuff. And this is a glimpse of the front of the room where I do most of my instruction. So we do our PowerPoints, videos, demos, all that on the screen. I'll do a few drawing examples and of course, the teacher desk. What I love most about teaching art is number one, the passion for art that I have. Because I feel like as a teacher, that's the driving force behind teaching. You want to be passionate about what you're trying to get your kids to be passionate about. So for me, that is art. And also, just like every other teacher, I love the aha moments. For me, that's when a student says that they can't draw or they don't know how to do something art related. And I teach them, I work with them, and then they do it and create something great, and they're so proud of it. That, for me, shows um, why I love teaching art. All right, so one question I get asked a lot is, what can I do with art after I graduate? What type of pathway or career can I get out of this? Um, just for example, we have some such as maybe a director or a curator. Um, you can work in a museum um, directing that. I know uh, one of my friends is an art therapy teacher, which is awesome. She works at a hospital uh, working with patients who have cancer. And then you could be an art teacher, of course. Graphic designer, there's so many options for it. I'm not saying just an Anson, you could see these. Obviously, you would want to move further away for those. But there are options if that's something that you're interested in. 
art projects that my students have loved in the past as well as currently. Um, in the past we do perspective drawing where they learn how to do two-point perspective. Um, so this is one example. And then something a little bit more advanced. It's something tricky that they have a hard time with at first, but once they get the hang of it in the aha moment, that's whenever they really truly enjoy it. Another lesson that my students love is called Seeing a Song, and it's when we work on our element of art color. In this lesson, I have my students listen to their favorite song, which of course they love listening to music, and they get to apply the color of whatever they're feeling to their art that they create. They love this for many reasons. Number one, the music aspect, and two, it's a way for them to express themselves, which is the aha moment where that's generated and they get to have fun with it. So art is connected to the other subjects, um, just simply in the way we use math in the subject, we use history, we use anatomy. Um, so all this can tie directly into the art world. Art is also a stress relief for some students. Some might say coming in here might help them as far as taking their focus off of stressful subjects and kind of giving them that release. Also in art, um, it's statistically proven that it helps improve scores as well as problem solving skills. So learning those different things in here does help. Uh, furthermore, art is the stepping stone to other subjects that students might be interested in. For example, a student might not like to draw, but they love music. Art is, music is a form of art. Art can be intertwined with music, dance, graphic design, photography. All these things are incorporated in art, and here you learn the basics.